Hi everyone. Today I am measuring how much force is needed to actuate a Sanwa JLF joystick set up with a 6 pound aftermarket spring. For reference, I'll be comparing these results against the stock spring and other aftermarket variants I've tested. As part of this continuing series on arcade joystick springs, I'm analyzing how the downward force of a spring affects the sideways resistance experienced during gameplay. Before we get into the measurements, there is one important detail I must clarify. The spring I'm testing today was marketed as a 6 pound spring, but my measurements put its maximum load at 5.6 pounds. This kind of discrepancy is fairly typical with joystick springs labeled by their maximum load rating. Actual values often deviate from the advertised specs. While maximum load can offer a rough reference point, it's not a dependable metric for defining spring behavior. However, it is important that we note these inconsistencies. Now let's have a closer look at how this spring stacks up. For this analysis, I'm using a custom-built test bench designed specifically for joystick spring measurements. All readings are taken under controlled conditions with the force gauge aligned to the center of a standard 35mm ball top. To minimize the impact of single-point reading variations of up to 0.03 pounds, I will average eight readings rotating the shaft, pivot, and spring assembly through four distinct orientations. This approach enhances measurement accuracy and helps account for subtle flaws and imperfections in joystick components. As I wrap up the final readings, let's review the spring specifications. To achieve a comparable feel in your own joystick, it's important to consider these key specs when shopping for replacements. As I mentioned earlier, maximum load doesn't tell the whole story when it comes to joystick spring feel, so don't lean on it too heavily when picking a replacement. It's included here just for reference. And here's what the numbers say. A Sanwa JLF joystick fitted with a loosely labeled 6 pound aftermarket spring has an average actuation force of 0.885 pounds or 401 grams. That's roughly the same weight you'd get from stacking up 16 platens pulled from old school 3.5 inch hard drives. Compared to the stock spring, this spring requires 0.531 pounds or 240 grams of additional force to trigger the switches. For added context, here are the measurement results from the previously tested 2 pound and 4 pound springs, both of which didn't match their advertised maximum load ratings. In my future videos, I'll continue expanding this chart as I benchmark additional springs. I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.